welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays, I'm making a series of videos for the Enable's Airbus A320 Neo for the beginners and in this regard, this is going to be another video in which I will tell you how to fly an approach with a discontinuity in it and land your plane. Before this, I have uploaded videos in which I've covered how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly this plane on autopilot, eyeless approach and landing, RNAV approach and uh, then cockpit lights the exterior lights and now this video. Now as a beginner, uh, when you are updating the flight plans in the MCD of this plane, you will see discontinuity. So right now I'm doing this uh, short flight from Riyadh to Bahrain and it has a discontinuity in it. So let's uh, go to the flight plan and let's look at the discontinuity. So I will move this knob to plan and I will change this view. Now. Let me just uh, zoom out like this. I think this is a good zoom. Let's brighten up the screen. Okay. So now you can see that over here there's a discontinuity. In the flight plan, you will see this point manual and then there is a discontinuity. Now usually, this should be connected. This point should be connected with this point and then your plane should take a right turn and go for the approach and then land. So uh, as a beginner, what I used to do is this. I used to delete this flight plan discontinuity. Uh, how do you do it? Uh, it's really simple. You press clear and then you press manual. First of all, you have to delete this point manual. Let me just do it. I think <laughs> if I delete it, then uh, I will be able to load it again around. Anyhow, I can just check. So press clear. Now, first of all, delete manual because if you try to delete this flight plan discontinuity, it will say not allowed. So first, delete manual and then the, discontinu uh, the discontinuity. And now this line is there and uh, the plane will actually follow this flight path. Now let me just select this approach again. Arrival, ILS 30 right and uh, Ladna 1 insert and let's see again this discontinuity is loaded because this approach is flown like this after this point uh, you get the vectors from the ATC and then you turn right and then you go towards the approach so now I will tell you in this video uh, that if you have a discontinuity no need to delete it you can fly this approach and how you will fly it <laughs> this is what I'm going to just tell you right now now, as you can see that the plane is near this point uh, from where the discontinuity will start. So there are a few things. Let's check um, in the RadNav option whether we have the frequencies. Now, you can see that for the VR, uh, Bahrain is there, triple one point eight zero. And if you look at this approach plate, you can see um, the identifier for this uh, Bahrain VR is BHR and the frequency is triple one point eight. And uh, the heading is uh, not given but it's uh, yeah, 300 so I can enter it over here yeah 300 that's it so this uh, VR is there and plus the uh, ILS is also there yeah it's uh, 110.30 and uh, the course is 299 I can fix it 300 that's it because it's there so these are the two identifiers. One is for the ILS and another one is for the VR. Now I'm going to do one trick over here that I'm going to turn on the VR over here on this navigation display. So I'll move the switch towards the right and I will now track VR1 Bahrain, which is over here at the start of the runway. Why I'm tracking that? Um, I'll tell you because, you know, uh, it will help me in finding the direction. Now you can see this uh, needle which is pointing towards this VR, where this VR is. So it's a good indicator. So when you are doing this kind of an approach, uh, it's better to have this view because this will give you uh, the complete view of the compass because in the arc mode, you only see not even half of it. <laughs> so you can get the heading. Now what I'm going to do is this. Obviously, uh, when I'm flying it with the ADC, the ADC will give me the headings. But in this case, what I'm going to do is this that after this point, I will turn 90 degrees right 
and then I will fly like this and then afterwards I will again turn 90 degrees and I will try to align with the localizer. There is this magic button localizer which aligns the plane with this approach. So I will be using that and you will see the plane will be aligned with it. But remember this thing that uh, for the ILS uh, you also need to follow this uh, glide slope. So localizer only gives you lateral navigation but not the vertical one. For that then you have to activate approach. So it's really simple and right now you can see I have activated the approach phase and uh, the speed is above the green dot speed. I can extend the flaps to one position by one notch down. Ground spoilers are armed ready for the landing and you can see that over here I have all the information for the approach. Let's bring the flight plan and let's see what happens. Nagat. So I will cross this uh, point. Now you can see uh, this uh, needle is changing because this VR is now towards the right side as the plane is here and the VR is here. So this is what it's pointing towards. During the landing uh, this uh, needle, th this actually 30 will come here because I will be then heading towards the runway 300 degrees. This is the um, heading of the runway. Nagat. So I have crossed Nagat. Can I turn uh, right? So I will just uh, now the heading is uh, almost 120 degrees. I will just go 210 degrees. So I will take this plane uh, from the marriage mode for the heading and I will bring the cursor as soon as I see the down key. I will press it. Now I will get the heading. I will change it to 210 which is a 90 degree turn. That's it. Now you can see this heading bug is here and the plane is turning right. Now the flight plan has uh, the lines. These are no longer solid. They are dotted lines. But it's showing me that I am no longer flying in the marriage mode. I'm not uh, following this flight plan. Now I'm in the heading mode. So whatever the heading I will select over here, uh, the plane will actually follow that. So if you look at this approach plane, uh, by this point, 8.5 nautical miles uh, before the runway, my altitude should be 1,500, the plane is descending. So it's good. Now you can see this VOR is actually, this needle is now going towards 30 because we are moving on the radial of uh, this VOR. I'm tracking the outbound radial for this VOR, which is 30, 300 degrees. Now I can just turn 300 degrees. Again, a 90 degree turn. And now I will be in line with it. I can also set this to VR just to see whether I'm aligned with the runway or uh, uh, with the VR or not, because this VR is just like the start of the runway. I can also do that, but I will just keep it in the nav mode. Now, what will happen if I press the lock mode? Localizer. Let's see. Now I've pressed the localizer. So the plane will automatically now align itself with this approach, with the localizer. Let me turn on the LS as well. I have to actually intercept this line. So let me just intercept it. Now we can see this VR is being tracked. Now it has started to work. So as soon as I intercepted it, it started to work near this point. Localizer has worked. <laughs> Great. Now with this, what I can do is this, that I can ignore this error and uh, I can just extend the flaps. Now you can see over here on the FMA, a localizer is coming, LOC. So it's there. And now I can also activate approach.
Now, as soon as this diamond is in the middle, the plane will also again start to follow uh, this glide. Slope. Now, full flaps and uh, gears down. And uh, now you will see the plane will actually follow. Great. So this is the runway. And uh, now the plane is leveling off at 1500. Now it has started to follow the glide slope. Now I can also activate autopilot 2. Now you will see category 3 dual is coming. Autopilot 1 and 2 is active. And uh, the plane will go for the auto land. All I have to do is this, just adjust the thrust and that's it. Uh, set the auto brake to medium. Ground spoilers are active. So that's how you actually follow this uh, flight plan when there is a discontinuity. So in the future, I hope so that you will not be deleting the discontinuity because, you know, flying an approach like this is really interesting, you know. Otherwise, it gets really boring. So just uh, 2.1 nautical miles from the runway, I can see it. Almost, I think, two months back I was there. There's also a video on my channel, I think, for the takeoff or for the landing. In real life, not in the simulator. So, if you have uh, any questions, you can uh, ask me in the comment section. Uh, actually, I try to answer all the questions, uh, but I have a very busy schedule. I go to office, I make these videos, and then I also practice different flights. So, that's why uh, whenever I get time, I try to answer your question. It's not really aligned slightly towards the right side, but uh, I will just go with the landing. As I'm not doing it, so I don't really care. You can see land is coming. And... Uh, now we've crossed the VR. This is now at the back. Minimum. Now soon. 100. At 30, the plane will perform a flare. 50, 40, 30, 20. Bring the. Retard. Retard. And reverse thrust. That's it. And if you want to add anything to the video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.